day today as always welcome back to my channel and if you are new please do subscribe if you're not already it would absolutely make my day if we hit 9,000 subscribers and 49.6% of you aren't actually subscribed and I don't know why so if you're not subscribed and you're watching this video and you somewhat enjoy the content I create please subscribe it would make my day so yeah Today's video is probably one of the most exciting videos that I do every single year and that is reacting to the Lush Christmas collection for 2020. I am so beyond excited to go through this list, I've not even had a slight peep at this list so I'm going in completely clueless as much as you guys are and I cannot wait to see what Lush are releasing this year for Christmas. I love Christmas so I'm so excited. So without further ado, I'm not going to ramble on anymore, I'm going to go through this list and I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on all of the products coming out and I cannot wait. So get yourselves a drink, I've got a coffee, I've got an orange juice, let's go. So I'm going to be going through the list in sections, the first section I'm going to be going through is the Snow Fairy section. A lot of you guys probably are obsessed with Snow Fairy, a lot of Lush customers love Snow Fairy, so I'm going to be going through that list first so let's go so the first item that's going to be snow fairy scented for 2020 is going to be the snow fairy wonder ball bath bomb this bath bomb is seven pound 95 by the way i have prices for some things just not everything so that bath bomb is 7.95 and i believe it's one of those big bath bombs with the little like stopper in it do you know which ones i'm on about but that will be snow fairy scented so that will smell amazing as always we then have the classic snow fairy bath bomb this is 4.95 and has been released many a time it smells like snow fairy again so it's bubble gum and really sweet and sugary and if you love that kind of smell you'll be obsessed so definitely get yourselves one of those if you like that sort of smell we then have the snow fairy body conditioner and body spray so the body conditioners are like the in shower moisturizers and obviously a body spray would smell unbelievable I actually have one of those um, that I still haven't finished from last year so I don't know whether I need another one but it does smell amazing I'm not gonna lie. We then have a bubble bar this is the snow fairy roll slash bubble bar I believe this looks very similar to the comforter but it's snow fairy scented so you can't really go wrong the comforter is an all-time classic and I feel like They've hit the nail on the head with the Snow Fairy version for Christmas, so love the idea of that. We then have the Snow Fairy shampoo bar, which in my opinion sounds un believable because I love shampoo bars from Lush. I think they're amazing. I take them on holiday because they're just so convenient and compact and I use them to shave like my armpits and my legs with when I'm on holiday because it just it's just so much easier than taking like 7,000 things. So I really do recommend the shampoo bars. There's loads of them to choose from, but I would kind of pick one that's suited for your hair. Don't just go on the smell, but I am gonna have to get a Snow Fairy one because it smells like bubble gum and I just wanna smell like a bubblegum princess all the time. And finally, Snow Fairy wise, obviously they're bringing out their classic Snow Fairy shower gel. This shower gel is probably one of the most popular items from Lush every Christmas because people go nuts for Snow Fairy shower gel um, because it basically smells like liquid bubble gum and it's just so good so yeah if you haven't tried it I really recommend going in and trying it because it just smells unreal I can't even describe the scent it's just so good the next category is Yognog which is one of my favorites so I'm so excited to see what they have this year so the first item is Yognog body milk which apparently is a light body lotion that sounds unbelievable because I love body lotions but I hate them being really thick and gross because it just makes me feel horrible and I really don't like it so a milky body lotion sounds like a 10 out of 10 thing that I would really enjoy so I'm gonna have to get one of those next up we have the Yognog shower gel which came out last year it smells like toffee and caramel and freshly baked biscuits it smells amazing and if you like your sort of foodie scents you will be obsessed with it it's so so good and they also are bringing out the body spray as well so that smell that smells amazing that sounds amazing but it also does smell amazing i can't get my words out i'm too excited oh my goodness so now moving on to a few other fragrances so the first one is the celebrate body spray which smells like what does it smell like? I can't even think what it smells like. It smells kind of like the... What is the word? It's like a chocolate orangey scent. <laughs> Worst descriptions. It smells like oranges. It's like a really 
fresh scent. It's the same scent as Golden Wonder. So if you smell Golden Wonder, that's what it smells like. It smells unreal. I love it. We then have the Golden Pear Body Spray, which also sounds really, really nice. And then we have Fresh as Perfume, which is apparently needles and pine scented, which I am obsessed with because I used to love that shower jelly so, so much. So that sounds delicious, need one of those. Then it's the Frangipani perfume, which again, never smell, no idea what that smells like. Frangipani, I'm pretty sure, is a fragrance, so yeah, I have no idea what that smells like. If you know what that is, <laughs> let me know down below, because I'm clueless, no idea. So now moving on to all of the new bath items that are coming out this year. So we have the Winter Garden Bath Bomb, which is apparently £3.95, which isn't so bad, and it's a white bath bomb with loads of floral, like flowery bits in it, and I can imagine that smelling very similar to um, Tisty Tosty. Do you remember that one? I don't know if that still exists, but it was a heart bath bomb with like dry roses in it and it kind of smelled really like clean and fresh and like nanish. I feel like this is what that would smell like, but no idea, so I need to smell that one. Then we have the TikTok bath bomb, which is apparently bright side scented. However, it has popping candy in it, which sounds unbelievable. I love that. And that one is $3.95 as well, so not too expensive, but they've definitely gone up in price over the last few years so I'm not too sure how I feel about it. It depends how big it is as well because if it's like teeny weeny it's kind of not really worth it but hopefully it's a good old chunky bath bomb. We then have the Angel's Delight bath bomb which apparently is the same scent as the classic soap so tangerine and orange and this bath bomb is £3.50 so a little bit cheaper again. The next bath bomb has the longest name ever and that is the I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas bath bomb which is apparently Space Girl scent which was my first bath bomb from Lush ever and it's still by far one of my favourites to this day. I absolutely loved that bath bomb. This one is only £2.95 so so affordable compared to the others especially if you're getting like a little secret Santa present or something that's going to be a really popular one I can just tell. The last two new bath products are both bubble bars. The first one is a reusable bubble bar and it's called Elfie Stick and it's banana, vetivert and lemon flavour and it does look kind of cool but I do worry that the bath water is going to go brown because green and yellow just doesn't sound like it would make a nice colour, I don't know. So yeah, hopefully the water doesn't go brown. And the last one is Kinky Boots Bubble Bar, which is sex bomb scented, and this one is 5 95 So that does sound really nice. As long as it's reusable, it's not so bad, but I can't put like a six pound bubble bar just like in my bath because it just hurts me a little bit. It's just so expensive, um, but that does sound really, really good. So the next section are the things that have been released previously, so I'm just going to whiz through them super, super quick. So you've got Butter Bear Bath Bomb, Golden Wonder Bath Bomb, Snowman Dreaming Bath Bomb, Shoot for the Stars Bath Bomb, Jingle Bells Bath Bomb, Holly Go Lightly Bath Bomb, Luxury Lush Pud Bath Bomb, Polar Bear Plunge Bubble Bar and Candy Cane Bubble Bar. All of those have been released before. If you want me to give you my like rough opinion on any of those, leave me a comment down below and I can let you know my thoughts on them. But I feel like this video is going to be long anyway, so I don't want to be rambling on too long about the ones that have been released previously, if that makes sense. I'm rambling. Let's move on. The next section I'm going to go through are the soaps. So I can see there are five, which is really exciting. Hopefully there's a new one this year. So we have the Golden Pear Soap, which is a release from last year. Shooting Stars Soap, again, came out last year as well. Snow Cake Soap is a classic, has to come out the same as Baked Alaska. However, there is one called Polar Bear Soap, which is apparently a minty coconut scent. That sounds really, really nice, actually. I feel like it would be really fresh, and hopefully it's just, like, a nice, fresh scent. I don't know. I don't want it to be too coconutty. Hopefully it's more minty, but we will see. I'm definitely going to have to go and smell it because I think that's going to be quite nice. And the last section I'm going to go through are kind of the odd bits and pieces that are left, so maybe lip scrubs, body lotions and that kind of thing. So the first item is the Santa's Belly Shower Jelly. Again, has been released before, so nothing too new with that one. We've also got Rudolph Nose Shower Bomb, which sounds really, really exciting. Um, I don't personally like the shower bombs. They're not kind of up my street, but if you like shower bombs, there's a new one. We then have the Orange Shower Scrub, which apparently is bright side scented, and I think I would really enjoy that. However, I'd probably save it till summer, because orange is quite a fresh scent. And to me, that's more summery, but I don't know. But yeah, I really like the idea of that one. The next item is a shower gel, and this is the Roast Nuts... No. <laughs> Roast Nuts? 
chestnuts roasting on an open fire shower gel. I can't get roast nuts out of my head. I'm just going to keep saying roast nuts now. Apparently that's Christmas cake scented, which is a new scent that Lush have come up with. So I'm really intrigued to see what that one smells like. We then have the Sakura body lotion, which is apparently a gift exclusive, but that again sounds quite nice. Boost Your Noel facial cleanser, again, is a repeat from a, like many, many years. It's been coming out for such a long time. We then have the Candy Cane Lip Scrub, which sounds unreal. And I really want to get my hands on that because I love a lip scrub and that just sounds amazing so definitely gonna have to get that one then we have the celebrate body milk which is another gift exclusive but that sounds delicious too then we have the once upon a time body lotion which is coming out in the naked and the potted version and I'm excited about that because once upon a time smells like so white so it's crisp apples really fresh that sounds delicious and last but by no means least is the sugar plum shower bomb which sounds really exciting and I hope that that smells delicious but it doesn't really say what it smells like which is annoying so that is everything for this video I feel like I ran through that list super super quickly but I did want to get this video up as soon as possible and I can ramble on for a very very long time you had rambled on for eight pages front and back so I feel like I just need to condense my thoughts on lush products because we could be here all day otherwise so yeah please leave me a comment down below of any products that you are looking forward to and that you're thinking of buying for me I think it's gonna be the candy cane lip scrub the orange body scrub and Oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to go into a Lush shop and just smell everything. So yeah, I'm really excited to go and do that. So hopefully it comes up very, very soon. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Join my corner of the internet because I would love to have you here and I do video requests all the time. So any videos you wanna see, let me know down below because I'd love to do those. And yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish my coffee because it's melted because I made an iced coffee and that was a bad idea. So I'm gonna go drink that and I hope you guys have the best day ever. So I'll see you very soon. Bye.